So I can talk to my camera when it's not in my truck. Um, I don't know why I didn't talk to the camera earlier because I was driving around. I, uh, I had a follow-up appointment with my um, cardiologist here in Greenville this morning. Um, no decision has been made yet as to the course of action for my, um, for my heart. Um, but hopefully within a couple of weeks, um, my doctor here is pretty certain that it's going to be uh, an open heart procedure. Um, but there is a small, small chance that it won't be. Um, either way, my heart's going to get fixed. Um, the difference, the superficial difference is, um, the recovery time. Open heart surgery is a long recovery. Um, and I asked her about that and she assured me that, um, because it will have to be done in Charleston, that, um, after five days, I will be able to come home. I won't be able to drive, um, but I should be able to come home after five days of uh, post-op, whenever that may be. Um, other things that were brought up, um, let's see here. So the ablation seems to be holding and working. Um, there is no reason for me to not ramp my exercise back up. I, I, I did kind of bitch about my uh, the intensity level of my exercise sessions have not been very high, as you've probably noticed on on Instagram. It's a lot of uh, elliptical and walking. And in fact, just the past couple couple of days, I've been back to 45 minutes on the elliptical and uh, walking after dinner. Still haven't been on the rower or the ski. Um, I actually planned on that today, but just got do, busy doing some other things. Um, and got to get back to lifting weights. Uh, the worst thing about not lifting has been I haven't done my legs since the end of August and it's going to really hurt <laughs> when I get back to doing them. Um, and I'll probably do that this weekend just to go ahead and bite the bullet and start the, start the cycle of pain in my legs. Um, so yes, she said no reason to not start ramping that thing back up. Um, it will do me good on, on many levels. Many fronts will be benefited by, by doing that. Um, there are technical things I could tell you about what's going on with my heart, but it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, uh, to most people. I'm not sure that it even makes a whole lot of sense to me sometimes. And, and, um, I would say that uh, as far as average Joes go, I probably have a little more knowledge about anatomy and physiology than most, and uh, I still can't uh, uh, explain every detail about what's going on, but um, the defect I was born with has caused my heart to um, basically try to protect itself, and in doing so, it has made... Um, uh, some structural changes that are not um, normal. Uh, uh, my doctor here, um, unusual name, or else I would just say her name, but um, yeah, just my cardiologist here, um, said that she truly believed that as soon as I got this fixed, I would feel better. Um, my oxygen levels are not what they should be because my blood flow is not what it should be and not all of my blood is um, circulating to my lungs as it should, which is, of course is how your blood becomes oxygenated. <clears throat> so she said that she felt like the fact that I was continuing to exercise, that I was working harder than anyone else that would be doing the same thing because of my lack of oxygen. So I took a little pride in that, that I've continued to exercise, especially all these years, much less in the last year and a half, um, with this problem becoming more significant. Um, it, I guess if, if I'm being blunt, um, from what I've read, it could be one of those fatal things, but, um, my doctors don't seem to think so at this point that I've, um, gotten the care that I need for it. And, um, if it were, if it were that dire, um, we would have already done something about it. They feel like there's no, 
no immediate rush, although it sure would be nice if they would do it before the end of the year so that I already met my out-of-pocket. <laughs> but I know that's not their concern, and it really shouldn't be mine either. But anyway, um, so yeah, today was just a, uh, uh, a trip to the doctor. And then uh, after that, I went to the grocery store to restock <laughs> after 10 days with no electricity. Um, 10 days without electricity is really good for your power bill because essentially a third of it is gone. Um, but it's really shitty for your, for your grocery bill. Um, I spent more at the grocery store. In fact, I spent about double what I would normally spend at the grocery store. Um, I did have to stock up on meats cause all of them, anything that was in the freezer got gone and, and yeah, um, had to waste a lot of that. But when you, which is, you know, obviously per pound, the meats are the most expensive thing. But when you think that mayonnaise and all of those kind of things, eggs, cheese, sour cream, all of that stuff, you got to replace it. Um, I try to not get anything that I don't use regularly. I really don't want to just, I took it, I took this as an opportunity to get rid of some shit in the fridge that was just going to sit there until I threw it away eventually anyway. So it was nice to kind of clean the fridge out some and maybe forced me to be a little more judicious about how many salad dressings I have open at one time. Um, but yeah, so, uh, spent my, spent my time and money at the grocery store. Fortunately, today's not a dialysis day. So when I did get home, um, my father was up, but he had not been up long. He was out on the porch enjoying the sunshine. It was a gorgeous day here today. Um, perfect temp, clear as a bell day, sunny, 68 to 72 most of the afternoon um so yeah good day uh and then just doing some stuff around the house and uh actually put a couple bird feeders back up i said i wasn't going to put bird feeders back up but we're having a lot of um noticing a lot of bugs in the yard not not in the house per se uh, although one or two have snuck in um i've actually talked to a neighbor there seems to be some sort of um, some sort of spider or something going on in our neighborhood um, because we aren't the only ones that noticed it. My neighbor noticed it too. There seems to be an awful lot of spiders, um, and we've killed a whole lot in the yard. And um, I actually put a um, there is a granule. I don't even know who made it, but ortho probably um, that you can spread on your yard to deter the bugs. Well, I went through two bags of that, basically doing a lap around the house a couple of times and then broadening, broadening that lap each time to kind of cut a little, little bit of a barrier um, around the house to hopefully not have any critters getting in the house. But uh, they're definitely here. But um, one of the things you can do, and I've, mosquitoes are always an issue. I got, in fact, I got bit doing my cardio a little, a little while ago. Um, one of the things you can do for bugs in your yard whether it's flying bugs or not, is uh, have bird feeders. Birds eat the bugs. So I put a couple bird feeders back up today, um, a couple that I still had in my shed. Um, so hopefully that'll kick in here pretty soon. Maybe maybe I'll get some more tomorrow. Um, oh, and gosh, I don't know what all else. I unloaded the dishwasher and did more laundry and gave my father a shower and all of that stuff. So anyway... That's just a recap of my day. I wanted to touch base about uh, what happened at the cardiologist today but, um, and talk to the camera without sitting in the seat of my truck. That's all for today. See ya.